Okay. A little bit of live stuff. I don't do the live stuff all that often. You probably hear a bit of noise going on, but I'm going to do a little bit of a live review. I'm not actually sure if you actually hear me, but such is life. We're going to do Hill Farmstead. It's Dharma Bum. It's an India Pale Ale with Simcoe Hops. Got my little snifter here. This has been drank out of, but I washed it, so shit should be okay. Um, give it a whirl. Um, Hill Farm said, you know, they are who they are. You know who they are. Um, as far as the can goes, it's awesome. I mean, it's Hill Farm said they do their stuff pretty much like classic style. It's some lettering, a little bit logo stuff. This is, like I said, an India Pale Ale brewed with Simcoe hops. I mean, Simcoe is one of my favorite. Talking about that cat pee all day. Um, what do we have here? We have half a pinky finger just off Whitehead. I mean, you know, an epic heasiness. Got a soft heasiness. Nothing too crazy. But enough to let you know you're drinking a New England style IPA. Let's dive into the nose. I mean, you're not getting that uber, over the top kind of cat pee kind of Simcoe style stuff. But you are getting a nice kind of uh, dangy bitterness from it. Um, but there's a nice kind of offsetting kind of little bit of sweetness going on too. Yeah, just rich, vibrant, um, classic. That's kind of, that's the vibe I'm getting from those classic. Um, not necessarily classic in the sense of like old school IPAs, but um, classic in the sense of how things are brewed. Um, in the sense that it's giving you kind of the natural Vibes. I always say that all the time, but you know what I'm talking about. Vibes of the Simcoe Hop. It's nothing too crazy. It's nothing over the top. You're getting a little bit of that kind of dankness, a little bit of kind of nice citrus from it, uh, uh, a little bit of that like kind of so cat dude, nothing too crazy. Hmm. It's a chugger. I mean, you're talking about something that is. They actually have an ABV on here. I actually don't know if they have an actual ABV on here. But it's something that's like you're getting pure hoppiness out of it. A nice rich semi-sweet kind of maltiness. Nothing too crazy. Listen. I'm going to share right now. So I've had a couple beers, and uh, they're much bigger than this one. But this one actually still holds impact. Um, you're getting a, a decent amount of hoppiness from it. It's definitely airing inside of bitterness. Uh, you're getting that weedy dankness, a little bit of tomato stockiness. Nothing too crazy. But at the same time, you're talking about something that's a lower ABV beer, something that's chuggable, something that's drinkable. It's not too bad. I could sniff some. Pour some up my nose. That would be nice. In general, it's just a tasty beer. It's not so much a in-depth review. Not something that I'm sitting here going to kind of um, kind of pick every piece apart. But at the same time, I just felt like doing a live review. I also felt like doing a walk around. Uh, the, the impetus for this video is basically um, we're doing a share today for our local beer group, and uh, ended up. Uh, utilizing a warehouse space uh, that I have access to. And that would be a really cool spot, so I figured I'd do a quick review, not much of a review to be perfectly honest with you, um, but also show you guys how we get down here in Northeast PA. Even though I moved, I'm in Jersey now, but this is still my kind of core when it comes to beer. So I figured I'd do a, a quick beer tasting. Let's put it that way. It's called a beer tasting as opposed to a review. And actually do a quick walkthrough and uh, give you guys an idea of what we're doing over here. So stand up. Give this the old clickeroo. Oh, yeah? Let's see what we have going on. We'll get your little farmstead floating around here. So I'm going to actually uh, give this a little twisteroo here. Through here. If it'll actually let me do it now. I'm actually still getting good sound from this, but we'll see what's going on. So, like I said, we're doing a little bit of a share stuff. We're getting a little glasses made for the share. We'll give you a tour around, doing a little warehouse spot. Nice little share, nothing too crazy. Mm. This guy. Yeah, no one was Three minutes. 
something we put together. There we go. A little bit of woohoos. A little bit of. Uh, uh, there we go. A little bit of what what's. A little spot that we've done before. This is John. Say hi, John. Hi, everybody. John is uh, just a good dude. That's what he is. Cheers. Yeah. And uh, doing a little bit of goodness. Little, it's about 60, 70 people. We got a little bit of homebrew going on. Do a little bit of homebrew. Got a little bit of kegger action going on. Um, you know, a little bit of uh, local stuff, a little bit of brewery stuff. Got a little bit of catering going on. And music. So, yeah, that's how we do in the whole kind of beer portion of the world when we do shares and doing random beer awesomeness. So. Yeah. I figured I'd do a quick video. Of everybody actually hanging out, having fun. This guy. And there you go. So, a little bit of uh, beerness for you guys to check out. Um, and uh, hopefully, you guys enjoyed this. I don't even know why. You know, I just felt the need to do a quick video. Hopefully, you guys, uh, I don't even know. What the word I want to say is enjoy watching this, that's sure. Enjoy watching us drink beer. Enjoy people having a good time and a little live stuff. Hope to see you next time. Cheers.